So we can start from the beginning. And the reason that the Torah was given in the desert is to teach us that just like the Torah was given in a place that is ownerless, also the same thing, the Torah is ownerless. Anyone who wants to learn Torah, it becomes his. But it's still not understood. The, the desert is a place where there's no, it's a desolate place. Beli Levushin, there's no garments. There's no food. There's no water. Like it says, There was a big miracle that their clothes grew with them. But if it wouldn't have grown, there was no place where they could have gotten clothes. What would it have done? Made, made shoes out of, out of uh, scorpion skins? There's not, there was nothing... Their food that they ate was the man that fell from heaven. The water came from a, a rock. Because the desert itself has absolutely nothing. If so, God wants to give the Torah. He could have given it in a field. A place with its fertile. Why give it in a desert of a place of death? But there was nothing there. If there is an example in the Torah, it says that the Torah was given in a desert to show that the Torah is ownerless, just like a desert is ownerless. So it must be that it's exact. It's a good reason. It's a good reason that the Torah is given in a desert. <clears throat> in addition to the fact that it's ownerless. Therefore we have to say that all of these details that are found in, a de in the desert, somehow or other are attached to the giving of the Torah. But what we said, there's only one detail of Makom Hefker, Lo et Yatom Why is it that the Midrash says that <clears throat> the Torah was given in the desert to show that the, just like the desert is ownerless, so the Torah is ownerless? It brings up that one detail. But the fact is, it's, it's, the Torah is the, 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 was given in the desert also because the desert is a place where there's absolutely nothing to support, support human life. Nothing whatsoever. What's this show to come to say? When a person comes to learn Torah, as soon as a person starts to learn Torah, all of a sudden, he starts to think, what am I doing? All of a sudden, there's all sorts of strange reasons for him not to learn Torah. The businessman is told that he has to set times for Torah. Toen, who he says, Enzimenyeno, he can't do it. Ubalesek, he's working. Shaykh Lenatina Tzedakah, I can give charity, but I can't learn Torah. My head is just not there, and I haven't got time anyway. Who Yodea, he knows, Ki Abalesek Tzorech, Lit Natek Miyasakav, Lit Palel Mincha. I know that, listen, I'm a religious man. Every day I pray Mincha. This is the good thing about the prayer of Mincha. It says Elijah the prophet, when he made the war against the Baal, the triumph of Mincha. Why? Because Mincha breaks the day. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. So a businessman says, <clears throat> good, I know that I have to learn, I have to pray. I break the day and I pray. That's good enough. That's a big effort to me, just to break the day and stop and pray. I have to sit and learn Torah? The last thing in the world. Maybe when I sell my business, when I'm an old man and I retire, then I can go to Shul and I'll learn Torah. But what happens then? He goes to Shul and he falls asleep. He doesn't learn Torah either. When you tell him, let's learn at least a little bit of Chumash with Rashi. He says, no, listen, <clears throat> it's true that Hasidut demands avoda beseder vadraga, 
a person has to serve God in an orderly way, not to take too much at one time. A love of a first of all, I have to limelo bishlemus calling in. First of all, I have to pray mincha, and I have to try to pray mincha like Elijah the prophet. And then after I do that, then I can go and I can start learning a little bit of Chumash with Rashi. Who ain't no mishtamet milimud Torah and Rashi. He's not saying I don't. I'm not going to do it or Tanya, but now is not the time. Ukashid panem as As soon as I have time for business. Let's say the business gets really big, and then I can hire some people to take over. Then I'm going to sit and learn. Who adin biachas liyoshev oil? It's the same thing with people who learn Torah. If they say to them, "You're supposed to learn a little bit more," call atzmotai tomarna lo yamush kiotzibaze. If you say to the person who's sitting and learning Torah, "You should learn more," he says, "I believe you're right, 100 percent." Achuton, he says. I have to prepare myself. First of all, I have to rest. Then I have to eat a lot. And I have to keep them. I have to eat properly. After he makes all these preparations of sleeping and eating, he's got left in the day another five minutes to learn. But al he writes, He says the good food this strengthens the, the, the brain. So if a person eats good food, it'll strengthen his brain. So if he eats a lot of good food, then it'll really strengthen his brain. And then if you eat a lot of good food so much that you go to sleep, oh, then you'll strengthen your brain and you'll also be... And so the whole time you're strengthening your brain and you're resting up and resting up and strengthening your brain. So finally you have this fantastic brain and your mom is really <laughs> rested up. But you haven't learned any Torah. You haven't made any sort of, of, of an effort after I finish this, then I'm going to sit and learn. The shame kach bo'ara, that's why the Torah was given in the desert where there is no food, no water, no clothes. With the nogeya la Torah, yeshli smocha, you can, selling you, listen, the Jews went into the Torah. When I'm getting Torah, you can rely on Hashem. Hashem will take care of it, don't worry about it. Keshem shalamat and Torah, yatsu Yisrael mitzrayim. La midbar, la eretz lo zerua, mi beli la dat ketzad yisop kulach. So here, just like the Jews went out of Egypt, they went into the desert and they had no idea how they would be provided for. Haman nitem lem, the man that came from heaven, in the merit of Moshe, there was the pillar of of the cloud that protected them. The protection came from Aaron. Water came from Miriam. They should have relied on these three tzaddikim. And also, I am, I'm sorry, they did. They, 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 were, requ- they were required to rely on these three, three tzaddikim, which they did. And only when they threw everything away, threw themselves totally on Shem, and they said that what I want to do is just learn Torah. This is a teaching for us. We should learn Torah, and we should rely on Hashem, and then Hashem will give everything we need in physical and spiritual.